So a number of weeks ago, I was online doing some work and a post came up in my feed that was pretty shocking. Um, it was a picture of two bottles of apple cider vinegar next to each other. One was had dark liquid in it, the other one had lighter liquid in it. And they were the claim was made that this was an older bottle of Bragg's apple cider vinegar and the lighter one was a newer bottle. And that clearly this was evidence of what was going on. That Katy Perry had bought the company and she was watering down the apple cider vinegar to make a profit. And of course the post was going berserk, right? People were commenting and yelling exclamation points where are we going to buy our apple cider vinegar from now brags we're done with you you know us crunchy mamas we're on to you we're not going to buy your stuff anymore so then pretty soon after there was another post of a gal doing a video saying her brags apple cider vinegar didn't have a bite to it anymore and then there was another one of another gal saying that her brags apple cider vinegar didn't smell strong anymore and there were more there were more pictures more posts and i somewhere in the midst of all that i think it was after the first post or two i thought Wow, this is terrible. I mean, I was I was shocked, shocked and and upset. I mean, Bragg's was a company that was one of the first companies I came across when I started my healthy living journey. I started to get off of sugar and started to eat more whole foods and I liked their apple cider vinegar. They had a great reputation. They just seemed like a great wholesome company that I really enjoyed. And so I was shocked and upset. On the other hand, I wasn't that shocked. I mean, if you've been in the healthy living realm for a while, you know how it goes. There is a product or a company that you really like and a big company swoops in and buys it up and the quality sometimes suffers and you lose what you loved. So for example, you may have heard that Nestle brought, bought Garden of Life, um, General Mills bought Annie's and Clorox bought Burt's Bees. I mean, that's a real big difference there. Anyway, um, so in this case, I, in that sense, I wasn't that shocked. But I was still upset and I thought, wow, I should share this with my followers because I don't want my money to be wasted on watered down apple cider vinegar and I know they don't either. But something held me back from doing that and I thought, before I go and share this, whole, this post, maybe I better look into it and make sure it's really going on. So I did. I researched, made phone calls, and wrote a post about it. Now, what we're going to do today is to take that post a little farther and we're actually going to do a test to test the apple cider vinegar and see what's going on or isn't going on. So as you can see I'm kind of surrounded by a ton of apple cider vinegar here. This is Bragg's apple cider vinegar and this is another brand. Um, here's how I bought these and where I bought them and what we're going to do. These three bottles were all bought very recently. Um, you can see the timestamps on them and these two are probably the same batch I called the company and asked to the explanation of the dates and the stamps on them and these two bottles were bought at two different stores locally I sent my husband to the store and just said buy some Bragg's apple cider vinegar so he wasn't looking for a certain color shade nothing he just bought what was there and I figured there'd be some kind of difference and there's a little bit of a difference I think this one is a little bit darker later I went back to the same store that one of these was purchased at and there were quite a few bottles that were lighter. So I snagged one of those thinking that would be great for this test. These bottles over here, this is um, North Coast organic apple cider vinegar that we bought a lot, quite a long time ago. We've just we had a great deal and had it in the basement. And then these are more recent purchase from Costco. Also North Coast, but just as a side note, if you wherever you buy your apple cider vinegar, check to see that it's organic. We care about our apple cider vinegar being organic because apples are often sprayed quite a bit. North Coast, almost all of their products are organic, but I actually called them and they said that this particular run for Costco, they had run out of organic apples and they did a run that was non-GMO, but not organic. So make sure to check that, check that on the label. You can see organic and this one is not. So here's what we're going to do. I've got apple cider vinegar, some glasses, and we've got um, handy dandy pH indicator paper that ranges from one to 14. Now what we're going to do with this, apple cider vinegar is typically around five to 6% acidity. And um, these, as I said, this pH paper goes from one to 14. Now a pH of around five to 6% acidity is gonna correspond to a pH of about 2.4. So what we're gonna do is test all of the apple cider vinegar. Now if apple cider vinegar is watered down to the degree that it's gonna change a color from this to this, it's going to be a huge difference in the pH. And if it's watered down so that it doesn't have a bite and is basically like water, water is a pH of seven. So I 
We could test this using a digital pH meter and see if there's a difference of say 2.4 to 2.5 or 2.5 to 2.6 or something like that. But this is why that's not relevant because to make apple cider vinegar change from this color to this or to have no bite or no smell like apple cider vinegar, it's gonna be moving pretty far from 2.4 all the way closer, a lot closer to seven. I hope that makes sense. If you have questions, you can comment, ask me about that. But having these um, pH papers go in increments of one point to the next from two to three and three to four is plenty. We don't need it any more exacting like that because again, if it's watered down that much, it's gonna show up on these papers. So here we go, let's test it and see what we find out. Why don't we start with this bottle of Bragg's. We'll open this one up. And pour some of it. Okay, I've got a plate where I can put the pH testing papers. And we're gonna pour some of this in here. So that's this one. And pour this one up. in here and notice I'm not I'm not shaking it or anything like that I'm just opening them up and let's see if I can set this up set this one up here boy this one's a little tough to open Okay, so we've got that, and just for some controls over here, we'll do some of these. We'll do this one. Okay, so now we're gonna test them and see what we find out. So this is light. Well, you can see light, this one, this one, and then we've got this one right here. Okay, so let's test this one first. It's kind of hard to read. Now, I think you're supposed to let it sit for a few minutes, so we're basically more like a three. It's more like a reddish orange than an orange. So there's that one. In fact, I'm going to set this here. I'm going to test another one. Let that one sit for a bit. Okay, it's coming out just about the same color. And yeah, the pH, the pH tests take a little bit. The pH papers take a little, little bit to another one and finally I guess the moment of truth is this one in the end because this one this one is the one that looks watered down right it looks it looks light as you can see we've got four very similar if not identical pH tests and it doesn't look like anything's being watered down to me if you actually look on the label, this is this is an interesting fact. There actually is water on the label. So why is there? I'm all for integrity, I'm all for finding out the truth, and I'm here to help you get to the bottom of all things healthy living, and I'm happy to answer any questions. And if there's something else you want me to look into, feel free to let me know in the comments, and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you around. Thanks so much, take care, bye.